Hello, welcome to my channel. Uh, I've had a lot of inquiries and questions about how I cut in jack rafters uh, and the initial setup of bird's mouths. So we're gonna have an in-depth video. I'm gonna walk you through how I do it. Uh, it doesn't apply to every scenario of cut roofing, but on an up and over, straight common jack rafters, simplistic, this works. Forget your mats, forget your ready reckoners. If you want to know simplicity, this is one of the ways to do it. So first things first, I'm gonna walk you through. Now, where is, oh, is the rafter. So I've cut my plum cut on the top of the common rafter. Now, obviously, to get your plum cuts, there's a straight to the yacht, there's a lever, you follow me around here. So here's our ridge. This is our A-frame. So to get your plum cut, to start yourself off, get your level, mark a level, Get that nice and plumb there. Okay, mark down. So that's our plumb cut. Set our roofing square. And once you've got your plumb cut, your roofing square, your seat set, your seat cut is all set for you on your roofing square already. So just get the initial plumb cut, and then that's all you need to worry about for now. So on your square, you've also got your marking of your plumb cuts and your seat cuts gauged for you. So let's get that there. So set your roofing square or your bevel. Like so, double check which is tightened up. That's our plumb cut. So we your jack rafter, get your plumb cut. Here's one I done earlier. I always want to say that. That's marked, cut that. So we've got our top cut for our ridge. What I'm gonna do then I know how much I gotta take out of these rafters. Should never encroach more than a third of the depth of the timber. So this is 100 mil timber, so I wouldn't recommend going any more than 33 mil to the corner of your bird's mouth. Now on this roof, the whole setup, we have to take out 20 mil for our bird's mouths to get our plane from plate to ridge matching through. Everything will determine on your roof with your setup on, your thicknesses and your cutouts for the bird's mouths. This instance is 20 mil. So what I do, put your tape, mark the top 20 mil. Make sure you mark square with the timber, not parallel with your cut. So I'm gonna mark 20 mil there, run that line through so it intersects with your plumb cut. And what I do then is offer this timber up into situ. It's very icy up here at the moment, ladies and gentlemen, so bear with me. Bring it out in there. There we go. Right, so if you look at the top of the ridge and my mark, you need to remember whatever you need to cut out your bird's mouths, you need to take your rafter up above your ridge the same height. So essentially, when you cut out, 20 mil in your bird's mouths, the whole thing just drops down and slots over the purlins or your wall plate. So if we just say that this is our wall plate and not our purlin, keep them 20 mil up above. When that intersects on the top of your plane, mark on the bottom to the point. So I'm going to work here the same because obviously we did it on the bottom of the timber. So if that's 20 mil above, mark this point here. Once you've marked that point, drop him back down. Right, so we've got our timber down on the deck, or we've marked a 20 mil on top of the rafter. Just remember, keeping it up 20 mil, because we've got to take 20 mil out of the bird's mouth. This is our wall plate, imagine not our purling. We're just going from a wall plate to a ridge. So I've got my mark here. So what I do then, from that point on the corner, where it says plum cuts, slide into that corner where it intersects, I mark up my plumb cut. Then I mark my 20 mil with my tape, square with the timber, not parallel with the plumb cut line. If you mark with the plumb cut line, let me go off this 200 just so you get a tape closer. If you go off there, we're encroaching too far and we're on 23 mil. So when you pivot your tape around to that, it increases the size of the, uh, the cutout. So make sure you mark square. So you've got 20 mil there. Once you've got your 20 mil mark, get the seat cut 
sliding down. Where that intersects our cross point, mark there. So when you got your roof and square, quick and easy. When you're marking your plan cuts, you don't need to be flipping your square around. Whatever you've got in plan cut, just drop the square up on top. Okay? Like so. Once you've got your bird's mouth marked, get your set square, mark up the size, so you can follow a nice square line when cutting over the top. And that is that. That's quite simple. So, plan cut, mark up. What your cut out is, flame up the top of the roof till you mark the plane, mark the bottom and the angle, drop them down, cut them out. And the other way of doing it as well is getting your tape measuring from the corner of your ridge down to the corner of your wall plate and then hooking your tape over the top where your 20mm mark is run your tape in line with that corner of the bird's mouth and measure there's two ways of doing it a couple of ways of doing it measurement or in situ I prefer to do it in situ why? because you're guaranteed it's in its place and you can't go wrong hope that helps if you need any more demos, tips or advice obviously drop me a message on my social media platforms um, and it can give you a bit more of an intel of what this is all about. Thank you.